Now, when we talk about the probability of an event, the probability of an event is the set of possible outcomes over the sample space. The probability of an event, probability of an event, which I can denote as probability of an event. So let me say probability of an event is equal is equal to the set of possible outcomes, possible outcomes all over the sample space. So we are saying that the probability of an event is the set of possible outcomes divided by what? The sample space. Now, assuming I have a question like, in the toss or let's say in the toss of a coin, in the toss of two coins, what is the probability that, what is the probability that it shows at least one head? In the toss of two coins, what is the probability that it shows at least one head? Okay, let me trace the question a little. It shows I or A. It shows a head. B, no head. C, at least one at least one head. Let me trace the question a little for us to you know, have a little bit of thinking, you know? So, in a toss of two coins, what is the probability that it shows a head, A, B, no head, and then C, at least one head? Now, the first thing you do when you have a question like this, normally the best thing to do is to write down what? Your sample space. Now, our sample space for two coins has already been written here as head head or head tail or tail head or tail tail. Now, let's take the first part. So, in a toss of two coins, what is the probability that it shows a head, no head, at least one head? So, in our solution, Okay, we list or write down our sample space. Our sample space will be for two coins. We have head, 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 till, till, head, and then till, till. Now, we have the probability that it shows a head. Probability that it shows a head, a head. So we have a single head. So we want the probability that when we toss. A coin, okay, two coins. When you toss two coins, it shows a head. So over here, showing a head, we have S H T and then T H. So we have two over four, which is equal to one over two. Then we go to the second one. No head. Now, when we talk about no head, there's a head here, there's a head here, there's a head here. So no head means both tails, which is one. So probability of no head is equal to one over, the sample space is one, two, three, four. So one over four. And then the last one, at least one head. Now when we say at least one head, it means one or more heads. So at least one head, this will count, this will also count, and this will also count. This is out. So probability of at least one head is equal to our set of possible outcomes would be the H, 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 T, and T, H, which is 3 over the sample space 4. So we have 3 over 4.